Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots, lunar shows, desolate service, peasants, vassals, taxpayers. Boy, I got a doozy for you today. Hold on to your hats. Because as it turns out, all these paying walkaways, all these uh, token fines that uh, the banks have been uh, coughing up, including the newest one, um, with the foreclosure settlement with Bank of America and 10 other banks. And um, they're uh, coughing up what seems like a lot of money, but there's a little secret behind that. It's pretty disgusting. And that's the fact that most, if not all, of the money that these banks and these corporations ever pay in fines to walk away is written off on their taxes. That's right. The cost of these fines and the cost of these penalties for all this fraud and corruption gets passed on to you and me. You know it. We knew this was true. I, we don't even have to dig up the details on this, on this story to know that that was true all along. But uh, let's get into the details of this sordid story. So the fines seem large, although not in proportion, of course, to their profits. But they are even small for the bank because some or all of the fine payments will probably be tax deductibles. The banks can claim them as business expenses. So, uh, so here I am making fun of the banks all the time that this is just the cost of doing business. As it turns out, it is just the cost of doing business. That's the same way the banks look at it um, when they pay pennies on the tens of thousands of dollars um, on these uh, token uh, criminal taxes that they pay on all their wrongdoing. So uh, in essence, these fines are passed on to the taxpayer like everything else. And um, a good example of that is after the uh, Gulf of Mexico spill, BP actually got $10, million, $10 billion in windfall because they wrote off $37 billion in cleanup expenses. That's right, BP gets to write off $37 billion on their taxes in or, uh, for their uh, claims that those were their expenses in cleaning up the Gulf. Do you really think that BP spent anything near $37 billion in cleanup expenses, and then why should they get a huge tax break uh, for cleaning up um, the fact that they've destroyed the entire ecosystem of the Gulf of Mexico? So uh, so anyway, um, the other details about this, let's get into the nuts and bolts, is that under federal law, money paid to settle a company's actual or potential liability for a civil or criminal penalty, penalty is not deductible. And, uh, but these taxes get very complicated. And, um, as tax lawyers note, quote, the tax deduction category for business deductions is broad enough to include most settlements and judgments. But, uh, I, I heard this detail and it made me realize that, uh, all right, if under SEC rules and federal law, money paid to settle a company's actual or potential liability for a civil or criminal penalty is not deductible. So is that a, the reason why all these companies do not get charged? They actually just accept a, uh, a fine, um, admit no wrongdoing, and then move on. And uh, then they just deduct it from the taxes. And of course, their, their tax lawyers and their accountants know that they're going to write off uh, most, if not all, of this fine. So these these numbers are thrown out there just for us. It's part of the uh, dog and pony show. More smoke and mirrors for the uh, the bewildered herd out here, us. And um, so uh, they uh, they don't accept the charges, and then they get to write it all off. And um, and also remember that the the numbers that they parade out are also, we don't know if those are pre-tax numbers or post-tax numbers, pro probably pre-tax numbers, so they seem a lot higher than they actually are. Um, and that's why uh, the uh, penalties that we see are all over the map, I, I suspect, as well. A good example of that is that a Justice Department spoke and said that UBS would not be able to deduct, deduct their recent $500 million penalty. And, um, of course, one reason that would be that they don't talk about is it's a foreign bank. And as we've seen already, the Justice Department in the United States is a lot tougher on Euro banks than they are on our American counterparts who are indulging in the same activities. So, uh, so that's one reason. And then the other thing to look at is $500 million for UBS is the kind of money that, uh, their CEO carries around in his change purse. So, uh, it hardly matters. 
So, uh, so anyway, so this issue has come up again uh, because we have the foreclosure settlement. And let's also remember that uh, there's no prosecutions and no jail time. So the only thing that really happens is these fines. And now to find out, of course, that these fines really are meaningless. No wonder these banks and corporations perpetrate the same fraud and corruption over and over and over again, continue to pay these record fines, and just move on. Because uh, why wouldn't they? And uh, so the foreclosure settlement, um, it turns out the $20 billion that's uh, being coughed up by Bank of America and 10 other banks is, will all easily be written off as a business, business expense because it's supposedly helping the people. Of course, never mind that the, uh, the, the amount that they're coughing up is, is so token that the most people involved in these um, corrupt and illegal foreclosures are going to end up with a couple of thousand dollars. It's, it's, a, it's a token gesture at best. So they, they got off the hook there, and then the fact is they're going to be able to write off all that money as a business expense. And um, oddly enough, reading the details, it turns out that the corporations pay more attention to these taxation breaks. So when they, they make these settlements, they make sure those tax breaks are in there, and the government supposedly doesn't seem to be concerned or doesn't pay attention. But I see that more just as a plausible de deniability where the corporation gets what it wants, and the government just pretends like they're not doing it. And, uh, that way they're off the hook. So, uh, so how, how rampant is this practice? Well, 2005, the Government Accountability Office examined more, more than uh, $1 billion in settlements made that year by 34 companies and 20. So uh, nearly uh, two-thirds had deducted some or all of their money, all the penalty money from their tax bills. So it's just that easy. So there's no incentive whatsoever for these uh, companies to change their fraud, their corruption, and uh, there's uh, no impetus to uh, even uh, try and cover it up because if they get, get caught again, they just pay another fine and it's a small price of doing business. And, uh, and as it turns out, the, the Congress has had legislation to close this loophole, but of course it always dies because uh, the you know, business community, the corporate community, the financial community, the banks apply enough lobbyist pressure that this stuff never gets off the ground. But uh, this mortgage settlement between Bank of America and Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac will almost certainly be all tax de deductible because technically it's a deal between two private parties, even though the taxpayers pretty much own Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. So as it turns out, Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae are continuing to just be a, a toxic waste dumping ground um, for the banks to get rid of all their garbage and stick the U.S. taxpayer. And uh, this system certainly doesn't, doesn't do anything to change that. So, uh, so anyway, there's the ugly truth. Not only do all these corporations pay and walk away, but as it turns out, you pay and I pay and they walk away. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.